In this video, I will show you how to build ducts for simulating auxiliary ventilation in Winsim. The Winsim version is 4.8 and other versions should operationally similar. I will use this model for demonstration and uh, on the left is the intake decline, on the right is the exhaust shaft. I want to put the auxiliary ventilation duct here for ventilating the development phase. We will build the duct firstly. In the metal mine, the most commonly used auxiliary ventilation is a forcing ventilation duct. The fan is located in an upstream fresh air some distance away from the intersection point here to prevent air recirculation. I will break the airway at where the fan is located by clicking here and click on the designated location in the airway. Then select the airways that you want to put ducts. So I click that, select that, and select that. Click the little arrow next to the pencil icon. Click Construct Duct. Here you can set duct diameter, friction factor, liquid porosity, and other parameters. These parameters need to be set according to the type of duct you use. I use de default values in this demonstration. Here are the options that you can specify offset horizontal and offset vertical. In real case, the duct is inside the airway. But in the software, they are shown to be outside the airway for easy visualization and editing purposes. The so offset horizontal here and offset vertical are the visual offset distance you can set away outside from the airway. It does not influence the result of the simulation and I will use the default values. Click Build Duct. Close. After finish, Unselect the airways by pressing the ESC key on the keyboard. The next thing we need to work out is how much air is needed at this heading. One major determining factor in a metal mine is the power of the diesel equipment. In Western Australia, the ventilation air requirements for diesel unit operations is 0.06 cubic meters per second per kilowatt of maximum rated engine output specified by the manufacturer. This means if there is a 300 kilowatt loader works in this development heading, the minimum required air flow to this heading should be 300 by 0.06 equals to 18 cubic meters per second. Click Edit and select the beginning of the duct Click the fan icon and put a flow of 18. Click air simulation and then OK. Now we can see 18 cubic meters per second of air are pushed to the heading and flows back to the return. If the flow direction in the duct is not correct, you can click edit click on the little fan symbol, click on this fan, and click this um, uh, change direction icon and reverse the flow. In this case, the flow direction is correct, so I will leave it as it is. Close. Until now, we have only mandatorily put a fixed flow on the duct, but we need to select a proper fan based on the simulation results. The required fan operation condition can be found here. Click Edit, click the little fan, and click this fan icon, and here are the fan operating point. So the fan total pressure is 361 Pascal, and the flow quantity is 18 cubic meter per second. Based on this information, we can select a proper fan and install it here. I will demonstrate how to put a fan in the simulation in a different video. There are two more things we need to consider. The first one is in this example, 
18 cubic meter per second of air is provided at the beginning of the duct and most of them are pushed to the heading face here. But in most of the case, the amount of air you get at the face will be less than the amount of air provided by the fan due to duct air leakage. In that case, you will need to increase the air quantity at the fan until you get enough air at the heading. The second point we need to consider is you need to make sure the airflow provided by the auxiliary fan needs to be less than the air available in the airway where the fan is located. Generally, the airflow in the airway needs to be 30% higher than the amount of air the fan is trying to push. This is to prevent air recirculation. In this example, you need to provide 18 cubic meter per second of air, thus need to make sure the airflow in the airway is larger than 1.3 times of 18, which is 23.4 cubic meter per second. We have 29.1 cubic meter per second of air in the airway, thus it is okay. If the requirement does not meet, we need to find ways to increase the air in this airway. To demonstrate what will happen if I want to supply 40 cubic meter per second of air to the heading, but only 29 cubic meter per second of uh, air is available in this airway. Select Edit, click there, and put 40. Air simulation, OK. The model works fine, but if we check recirculation by pressing this icon, it shows there is an airway has recirculation, which is the airway we have just um, changed. So if I uh, go back to the airflow view, it shows only 29 cubic meter per second of air is available in the airway, but the fan is trying to push 40 cubic meter per second of air to the heading. So that's why a lot of the air in the heading will be recirculating. If I change it back to 18, check recirculation again, the problem does not exist anymore. Hopefully you have learned something new in this video, and if you find it useful, please give it a thumb up and subscribe to my channel to keep updated on other videos. Write a comment if you have any questions and let me know what else you want to learn about my ventilation. I will see you in the next video.